Welcome into our next stop, Big Z Sports 2 days Chris Kale, Joe Geckler here with you from New Cumberstown. And their coverage brought to you by Simona Boulderon. And we appreciate Simona Boulderon and uh, them covering the New Cumberstown Trojans the last couple years for Big Z Sports. And you know what, Joe? New Cumberstown, when we first started this 10 years ago, they were one of those teams that was really struggling. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you, you looked at them and said, man, you know, I don't know where they, they win two games this year. I don't know where they can win three games this year. Now we're talking about a New Cumberstown team that is a has been a powerhouse the last several years, an IVC front runner, a playoff winner now. And uh, they're one of those schools that you, you don't want to play. No, for sure. When we started doing what we do here with Big Z Sports 10 years ago, me and you have been together 10 years, Josh Lommers was the coach here. He, well, he's down the road. He's down 36, and he's coaching uh, an assistant level at a different school. His son's at that school as well. But Coach Dirk Gatt has come in here in the last eight years. It is eight years. Not, it is eight. Not three or four like somebody else said the other night. But eight years going into his eighth season, the first couple years were tough. No wins. They went 0-10. We get that come out his third year he's five and five the momentum started to build and started to build and he started to build his program up a little bit people were getting a little restless but you know what they stuck with him and and we talked about you know the longevity of coaches we've talked about it a lot he's been here eight years it's hard to believe it's been eight years already i know but he's done such a great job down here getting kids we were talking to him off camera and he said you know they're pushing 35 40 kids which is the most they've had here at newcomers town in in quite a while so coach uh gad is doing a great great job down here and, and getting these kids to play Newcomers Town football, the brand of football they want to play. Uh, some of these linemen ran past me when they were going to warm up, and I'm like, dude, like these are big dudes. Like they got some dudes on that offensive line, so it'll be fun to watch them pound the rock. Yeah, it's it's always about building your program and giving these coaches time to build their program. And Newcomers Town has given Coach Dirk Gad the time to build his program, and you're starting to see, you know, the firsts coming off the board, right? The first IVC outright title in 20-some years. First playoff game. First playoff win. Now, uh, you know, you string together string yeah. together a couple okay. playoff wins and another IVC title, and uh, we'll see what head coach Dirk Gad has to say. Joining me now is head coach Dirk Gad of the Newcomers Town Trojans. Coach, your eighth year already. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it went fast. It did go fast. Yeah. So, kind of like our summer just went, right? That's true, yes. <laughs> coach, very veteran group back that you have this year. Uh, you know, you, you didn't lose a whole lot last year, only a few seniors. So that allows you to bring back that junior class now and, uh, you know, with Fish and everybody else that you have, you got your signal, signal caller back, you know, when you bring Carter back as well. Uh, you've also returned some youngsters like Martinez. You've got Tanner Smith back. A lot of your weapons return. Expectations are high in Newcomers Town. Yeah, uh, the expectations are high, and we have high expectations for ourselves. Uh, the nice thing about bringing back all the veteran players is we've been able to kind of move at a faster pace because they already have a, you know, an idea of what we want to do. So I feel like we're further ahead than we've been in the past, and we've actually been able to throw in a few new things here and there, even offensively. So. Um, might see a few different formations out of us this year. You're not going to actually throw the ball, are you? No, none of them will be passes. Okay, I figured so. I mean, <laughs> even though you got Tanner out there and he had like, what, I think he had 10 catches last year and nine touchdowns or something like that, right? Yeah, T Tanner's definitely a weapon for us. We are going to get him the football this year. And we, ha we have some kids that can catch the football. Um, you know, we like to establish the run, and if we – First of all, I need to make sure we block before I start throwing the ball to anybody. They start thinking they're they're out there to catch it and not block, and they get the wrong idea. So if they show me they block, we'll get them the football. Coach, first playoff win in school history last year. You lost in the second round uh, to Fort Fry. But, you know, 7-5 and five on this season, it, it was a good year, and in the positives, that playoff win, right? Yeah, uh, that was huge for us. First win first playoff win in the history of our school so that was a big deal uh it was a really great experience to go down to grandview heights and get a win in columbus um and i think that kind of propelled our kids into this season and i think it helped our numbers as well so because we're up to about 40 kids i think now well and coach that's something that we talked about right several years back when you took this program over about building the program and establishing those things and i think we talked about when we were sitting right over there in the locker room a few years ago look we win football games and we win playoff games 
then the kids are going to want to be a part of this program, and that's what you and your staff have done. Yeah, and it takes a while to establish the culture that you want to have. Um, you know, we had some kids early on that made some sacrifices. I, I'd like to think we're a lot better coaching staff than when we first started. Um, so, you know, those first few years, some of that, well, a lot of that's on me. Um, so some of those kids had to go through some learning experiences with the, with our coaching staff as well. Um, and, you know, our culture now is headed in the right direction. And, you know, our weight room culture is off the charts right now. I'm really happy with that. So... We're happy about the direction we're headed. Yeah, a lot of the a lot of firsts, we'll say, in the last couple of years for the Trojans. You know, you knocked off that first outright IVC title in what twenty some years. You knock off the first playoff win. Uh, a lot of those firsts now turn into now it's time to continue to do that. What's next? What do you what do you uh, see this season going and, and making a possible deep run into November? I guess, you know, going into this year, one thing I looked at was I thought we gave up too many big plays at crucial times. Um, you know, not necessarily did we give up too many big plays overall, but it just seemed like at the wrong time we got hit with a big play. Uh, so this year we're going to do a few things differently on defense. Um, you know, it's one thing when you can outstrength some teams that you see uh, during the regular season. But, you know, if, if we're lucky enough to get into the playoffs this year, you run into some teams that – you have to be a little more creative in what you do uh, because they're just as physical and they're just as talented as you are. So um, we need to make sure that, you know, we're, we're headed into this year ready to make some adjustments offensively and defensively that the, we think will take us to the next level. And it helps that we'll be able to play JV schedule. So I think that's also going to help us. That's outstanding, yeah. Coach. And, uh, you know, so just talk about how camp has went so far leading up into, you know, everything that you got going on, scrimmages in week one. Uh, you know, what, uh, how's camp been? What's the what's kind of the motto this year? Uh, you know, we, we don't, we've been focusing on our core values, toughness, effort, attitude, motivation, and selflessness. Uh, so we don't necessarily have a motto, but I do talk with the kids a lot about you get what you earn. So, so that's kind of our motto this year. Um, you know, once you've had some success, then you got to learn how to, you know, keep that success and, and not get complacent. So you get what you earn is kind of our motto for this year. Um, we go to Coshocton for our first scrimmage. Uh, we've had a good camp so far. Uh, trying to stay healthy, that's the main thing with school our size, with anybody actually. But, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to hitting somebody else and seeing where we're at and evaluating some film. Coach, real quick before I let you go, looking at the schedule, you start off with at Burn Union. Uh, then you've got three straight home games. One of those you want to circle on that, Toronto, 9-2 and two last year in a playoff get, you know, playoff team. Uh, and then Claymont, a much improved team to finish yeah. up the first half. Yeah, we, we have a tough schedule. Um, you know, I feel like – it, well, when you've lost as many games as I have, you never take any of them for granted. I can you tell you that. You know what's funny? We were looking at that like, look how good New Cumberstown's been the last few years. And then I go up and look at your eight-year record, and then I just turn the page. I was just, I, yeah, I'm not ready to talk about our overall <laughs> record yet. But, um, you know, we take it one game at a time. But we definitely have some teams. You know, Toronto is a team that I know has had a lot of success. Um, I don't know a lot about them X's and O's wise. Uh, Claymont's one of those teams that I think at any moment could, you know, be a breakout team. So they definitely have a lot of skill there. And across the board, you know, there's some pretty talented teams on our side of the IVC as well. Absolutely. I mean, you look at the last three, you know, Malvern, Strasburg, Buckeye Trail. Those are three tight games. Strasburg going to be improved this year. Their skill players all returning. So, uh, yeah, it doesn't get any easier for the Newcomerstown Trojans. But, Coach, uh, looking forward to covering you. We got you three times this year, uh, whether it's on the radio or a live stream. And then, of course, rolling into the playoffs, hopefully. Yeah, we, uh, we get what we earn. So we'll see. Coach, thanks. Thank you. Big Z Sports Two Days rolls on. That was head coach Dirk Gad, Joe Geckler back joining me. And Joe, we talked to coach about you know Clayton Fish, the signal caller, returning a senior. Senior Carter McConnell, uh, who was their star running back last year, almost a thousand yards, fifteen touchdowns, seventy-nine tackles on defense, fourteen for a loss. The zinger, 
Dom Singer back. Uh, you return Tanner Smith, an electric player. You also return a freshman last year, fullback linebacker Martin Hernandez, who was a beast. He's the dude I'm looking forward to watching this year. Big number 77 and lines yep, up in that yep. backfield. You know what he's going to go do. He's going to take <laughs> out a linebacker, go take out a, you know, uh, hopefully he doesn't hit a safety too hard because he'll put somebody in the turf. But uh, Martin Hernandez is very fun to watch when he's uh, blocking for those running backs. Yeah, and we talked to Coach about the schedule. It doesn't get easy. They start off with a playoff team in Burn Union on the road. They've got three at home uh, in a row. Canaan Valley going to be a tough one. Toronto going to be a tough one. Claymont on the road going to be a tough one to end up the first half. I believe we have that game. Yeah, and, uh, you know, you've got Malvern, Strasburg, Buckeye Trail to end the IVC schedule in the year for, for uh, Newcomers Town. It doesn't get easy for them, but that's the way they want it because iron sharpens iron, sure. to quote Mike Tomlin, and that's exactly what uh, what Coach Gad's trying to do down here. You know, when, when we were meeting about the schedule and what games we were going to do and stuff, I circled one on my schedule and I said man I really want to be here for this one right here yeah. because the last two years it's been a great game and yeah, that's, that's gonna week be, eight that's going to be up in Malvern and that's and, uh, week eight last time it was up there I believe it went overtime or a couple overtimes or hell maybe three overtimes I don't remember two years ago let alone what happened yep. last year I know it was a close game 21-7 yeah yep. so but uh, that game is going to be fun to watch up there at Malvern always fun to be up there especially when these guys it's turned into a little bit of a rivalry absolutely and, uh, it's a lot of fun to watch so these newcomers town Trojans of course, they're wearing my favorite colors, black and orange. So, you know, they uh, yeah, I had to throw that out there for you. But black and orange and uh, Newcomers Town running the football, playing that blue-collar type of football. And, you know, when we talk to Coach Gad, man, he's such a soft-spoken guy when we talk to him. But, man, I've heard him yell a couple times behind us. I'm like, yep, he can get the octaves up a little bit. Yeah, he, uh, he alluded to some different things this year. I tried to get him to say he was going to throw the football on some of his new plays. Are you he kidding me? He said no. Come on. Uh, I said – you know, Tanner Smith, I think he caught nine balls and had eight touchdowns last year, but uh, nonetheless. Yard tight end dumps help a lot. You yeah. Know, tight, they, tight end pop pass or something. They do. And uh, the Newcomerstown Trojans going to be one of those teams that's really going to be fun to watch as they progress throughout the season, just like all our teams are. Again, a huge thank you to head coach Dirk Gad and everybody down here at Newcomerstown uh, for letting us have the access that we do and all of our coaches uh, in, in programs for giving us the access that we, uh, we've had for enjoyed for the last 10 years 10 years together can you believe that's, it that's crazy we haven't killed each other yet there's been times when uh you know we almost do it but uh the guy behind the camera kind of steps in between i'm not gonna mess with him <laughs> he's bigger than me and you together so he is um, but, and, you know, and give him credit yeah. too for what he's done listen this whole merger this oh, year has been crazy and that guy uh i don't think there's anybody that's worked harder oh. trying to piece together sponsorships oh, yeah. and uh and schedules and everything add, else and add give adam a lot of credit and add yeah. add games and you know Big Z Sports doing uh, you know four games a night essentially because if you count Dover Philly now and then we'll have them every Friday night on WJR but you know and then we'll have our IVC games with uh, myself and Robbie Anderson and you're gonna have Nick and Shannon as a crew so we're gonna have so much high school football you know we've always talked and joked like we're the sports center of high school football on we, Friday night we are now yeah. and now <laughs> it's like the sports center like XXL you know yep. we are we are really taking it to new heights and big thanks to Claxon communications as well and uh, the guy behind the camera Adam Soweski does a fantastic job I haven't heard from him much since the end of softball season that's because he's I, been busy I, know, I told him I said hey man we'll talk this summer but and it's August 9th and it's like the first time I've seen him in probably a month and a half so you know he uh, he's out there doing his thing and you know big big hats off to the to everybody at the station and you know Chris it's, it's always awesome working with you man I miss not being in the studio with you as much but we get to rattle each other down the down the line a down the bit. line yeah yep. so but uh, uh, you know, it's going to be a fun year. Uh, I'm excited about it. I'm excited to be back. My circumstances are a lot different than they were last year, and uh, I'm excited. I got the energy. Let's do this, and let's have fun. I'd love to, to get one week further than we did last year. Yeah. I want to be in Canton yeah. in, in December. You know, we I, almost got we there last do. year, yep. and uh, that would be an awesome uh, experience as well. But, you know, getting to a state semifinal game last year was was unbelievable. I enjoyed it, had fun. But uh, every game's fun for me, and I, I've already started prepping, believe it or not. You know, I already know my week one game, so, so I've I. already, I've already, oh, I know you have. I've already started looking and prepping, and I, I haven't pulled my sheets out yet. My, uh, my, you know, my spotter sheets. I'm gonna start doing those here real soon. But we're gonna have a lot of fun this year. And uh, again, big thanks to everybody for all their hard work from this. I know we've only done a couple of these, but man, it's, uh, it's, it's really getting the fires going. Yep. If uh, you want the best, there's only.
only one, Big Z Sports, now on 99.9 and on WJER. So it's it's great to have them aboard. Looking forward to all their coverage. So, again, thank you to Simona Bolderon for sponsoring the Newcomers Town Trojans. This is our final stop on our Big Z Sports two-a-days. Guess what? Good luck to all the teams this season, all the coaches, all the fans, all the cheerleaders, all the sports, Man. for that matter. It is time to kick off. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. Week one, here we come.